Time now to check the forecast, and we are learning about a confirmed tornado in Delaware on Friday. Here's Kate with that information. Thanks so much, Yuki. Yeah, before we get into the forecast, let's recap what we had on Friday. If you were with us on Friday, you know we had two tornado warnings as a line of severe storms rolled through. The National Weather Service has confirmed that an EF1 tornado touched down in Ashland, rode all the way to Montana with 105 mile per hour winds. There was also a 95 mile per hour straight line wind event in Greenville and in Wilmington, causing damage and power outages to those areas. That makes it three total tornadoes touching down. Last Last week in Newcastle and Kent counties and normally in any given year Delaware has one tornado so that's been it's been a very rough stretch let's just say last week was very very active of course the two tornadoes earlier in the week were from Isaias Friday was an area of severe weather and we've got more storms on the docket later on this week but nothing out there today it's dry for the most part across the area current conditions that's a hot one. It's 91 right now in Philadelphia. It feels like 94. The dew point is 66 degrees. Here's today's almanac. The high so far 92, the low 75. You can see our normals. 86 is our average high. Today was well above that by about 6 degrees. The record 98 from 1949. The sun sets tonight just after 8 o'clock. Storm scan 3 shows not much going on. We've been tracking these little pop up showers and storms. They fire up and then they fizzle out almost as quickly. The two cells we were watching are pretty much gone still a shower there in northern Ocean County, but it's uh, starting to die down pretty quickly. This front that's bringing severe weather to the Midwest this afternoon is what we've got to watch for the end of the week. It's going to slow down. Likely the threat for severe weather will be less by the time it gets here, but some heavy storms likely starting on Wednesday and then possibly Thursday and Friday as well. Tonight is dry, 74 degrees, patchy areas of fog developing by daybreak. Tomorrow, some patchy morning fog. Then the sun comes out. It's another hot and humid day with just an isolated pop-up thunderstorm. If you're down the shore tomorrow, 85 degrees, very high UV index. Most of the day looks dry. The water temperature 72 and the seas are relatively calm. Future weather for tomorrow again just a couple of spotty showers popping up here and there in the afternoon and evening they're few and far between but here comes that front it dies down overnight and then with the heating of the day Wednesday it fires back up again here's Wednesday afternoon front slowly slogging through and some of this rain does look heavy exactly what we don't need and with that front pushing through very slowly through the end of the week storms are possible Thursday and Friday as well so your eyewitness weather seven day forecast tomorrow 92 hot but not all that active storms return Wednesday Thursday and Friday start to turn a little cooler mostly cloudy with storms around and then the weekend is a little quieter we still have a storm chance both days but at least it's a little cooler and we'll see some sun both days as well stay tuned we'll be right back